<clears throat> Call this meeting to order. Determine that there's a quorum present. <laughs> Commissioner Wardlaw, Commissioner Vasquez, Commissioner Nettleton, Commissioner Flores, and myself, we have a quorum. Commissioner Wardlaw, if y'all will please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> we have minutes number four approving the minutes. Motion to approve, Mr. Shea. Motion, Commissioner Flotis. Second, Commissioner Nelson. All those in favor? Five zero vote. Um, don't see any citizens' comments. There's none. And we'll put uh, Aaron. Where are you? You need little baby girl. Little baby girl, Mister. Yes. Last week on Tuesday at six twenty four, watch the labor for one hour. Wow. <laughs> well, congratulations. 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 <laughs> Approving subdivision plans? None. Approving certificates of compliance? None. Approving monthly reports from elected officials? None. Second. Okay. Commissioner Nettleton, second Commissioner Flotis, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Zero votes. Approving bills for payment? Aye. Second. A motion, Commissioner Nettleton, second Commissioner Flotis, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero vote. Parking Commissioner of Candelario, Montalvo, for 29 years of dedicated service to Barbara County Precinct 2 of Egypt. No? I have a motion to table. Motion to table. A motion, Commissioner Nettleton, second Commissioner Vasquez, all those in favor? Aye. Aye, five zero vote. Auditor's report. Good morning. Good morning. How are you Commissioners? How are you doing? Doing really doing well. Are you all cheering? Excited today. What's going on? You know it's something Wednesday. going on? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Second. Second. Second, Commissioner. Va I'm motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? All right. Five zero vote. Certification of revenue, A, COVID-19 funding, city, $49,068.61, and school, $24,534.40. Second. Okay, why would we put this in? COVID. COVID. Okay. Did we get that one? I have a motion, Commissioner. Is that okay, Commissioner? Yes. Commi uh, I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton, second Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five, zero, low. City of Del Rio, 90000 and this one's for... Uh, Half of the uh, by woman show. It is. Motion to approve and put into that account. Second. Okay. Uh, we're, we're just going to increase appropriations in that yeah. All right. Thank you. A motion, Commissioner Nelson. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Five zero vote. Budget adjustment from available appropriations. Weather emergency. Now, this our expenditures are a little light on here. We were unsure about everything that happened. What? So far, we're approximately maybe a, without, yeah, even 5,000 would be high. Um, but if you want, we can set that aside for possible future reimbursement from FEMA. When you decided to start the process of developing a formula, we're in the process of developing a portal, uh, of developing a portal uh, in order to, to submit all that to FEMA. Mm. Okay, so what we can do is, is in, a, in an emergency account, we'll go ahead and create the the amount of diesel and everything, we'll go with each precinct and check and see how much diesel we can okay. use. Yeah, we've been capturing that two ways, one on the PO side and then two on the, on the true emergencies. We did not have time. We've asked that it's been written on the invoice. Once it's written on the invoice, then we capture it and we'll bring it into this account. Okay. And I know that uh, building maintenance, uh, like with their pump on their water truck, if I'm not mistaken, froze. Okay. And uh, fire truck, one of their pumps, uh, they're looking at it, and it's it's well, all by itself is... I think uh, Ruben couldn't get a price or something. We couldn't find one. We found one on the internet. It's about a thousand dollars. Despite so, okay. I had all my stuff from my water well got at the at our county yard roads, and we haven't got it all put together. And then I need to get you all of the diesel that we provided to the city. I don't know if they've got you those numbers. You will. And then after today, 
any further expense, there'll be a, a line item to please put the EOs in that line item uh, so that we don't miss any invoices that are not written on. Okay. Okay. Do we need to set something up? Or no? Yes, that's what we're doing right now. No, I mean, do you need us to make a motion? Correct. Um, whatever the amount, 10000 maybe, 7500 whatever you guys want, add a contingency into this. I'll make a motion to set aside. Uh, Yes. Yeah. Twenty thousand out of contingency for uh, weather related emergencies with potential reimbursement. Second. Motion for twenty thousand, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero vote. Item B. That's seventy five. O P E B. Correct. 40. These are other pension uh, employee benefits. We need to have this done this year. This is a, 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 a uh, every other year report. It's 59, 50. Oh, we budgeted for that. We didn't, we didn't budget for it this year. Okay. Motion to approve that. Second. I have a motion, Commissioner Middleton. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero vote. County agent travel and training. We have a motion to approve out of contingency. She used uh, we cut all that travel. They ended up having the stock show. And then she needs to get you the work <coughs> because all the repairs and storage farms she paid out of her budget, so there was nothing, there's not much left in operating to move over. So, related to the weather, huh? Related to the weather. Yeah, we'll add it to the emergency stuff. But I'll make a motion to approve out of the decision. That's all right. A motion for Mr. Nelson. Yes, Mr. Thank you. Uh, Rodriguez, can you just look there? Those buildings? I mean, we're just not. Spending county money on just on 4 H O buildings alone to No, no, I understand, but I mean all the repairs on those buildings she was paying out of her yeah. own budget. No, that's what I'm saying. Just so people that are <coughs> doing this, that's the reason. Okay. Treasurer's report. Mm -hmm. I'll report. Okay. Thank you. Treasurer's report. COVID. Uh, we can get her on the phone if y'all want. We can talk about it a little bit now. What's up, y'all? Um, I will tell you, I, there was 2,300 uh, vaccines on Saturday that were second doses, and uh, say 1,200, 1,300, I don't have that number, on Sunday. We do have another, I think, 1,100 to change for this coming Saturday, and those things will be going out. For, for those people that are going to receive the vaccine, they will get a notification uh, starting today for those vaccines. Uh, the questions, we have had a lot of questions that how come a lot of people are going to other counties and how come other counties have it and we don't? I don't know. Uh, we've been on the phone. I will tell you that there's a list of, right now, uh, there's probably a list of over 10,000 people that have registered. Uh, and I think we're a little over 5,000 of how many we've given per first doses, but we still have a list of over 10,000. I know there's some communities that have gotten good doses or a good number of doses, and they don't have a have a big list. Uh, so I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason. Yes, sir, Commissioner Nathan. Yes, sir. Um, I know the governor's changing things. I guess next week, um, which I mean that's fine. Uh, I would like to see us have at least a requirement for mask inside county buildings and county property. So I will make a motion that uh, on county properties and inside county buildings, mask for report. Second. I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Wardlaw. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? 5 0 vote. Uh, Mr. Martinez. <coughs> okay. We'll come back later. Yes, sir, Judge. Uh, the motion that we just made, even though we already took the vote, but just for clarity, uh, we can do that because everything that I've read, and so I'm asking you the questions, even though we've all read that we can and other cities are doing it, but it is something that we can do. Yes, sir. Okay. It, it just takes this action, uh, which Commissioner Nelson uh, just, uh, just put on the table. Okay, that'll work. And, and again, I just don't want the phone calls that we can't do it, so you just answered their questions. That's correct. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> judge, could you explain what the <clears throat> what the results are of what the judge what the uh, on, the, on yeah, March 10th, what he did? Bottom line is everything goes back to 100%. Uh, everything that I've read, I mean, it's just uh, the doors are wide open again. Now there is, uh, if our hospitalization rate goes above 15%. 
for seven consecutive days. Then the county judge uh, can put other uh, restrictions in place. But, you know, in my opinion, they're useless because there's no uh, penalty for not doing it. So I think you're going to put our law enforcement and everybody else uh, sort of behind the eight ball if we're trying to enforce something that uh, there's no penalty. So at that point, again, I, I think it's just useless. I, I do believe that, you know, for the record, I do believe what he did was wrong. He is, uh, he is our governor. And I'll say it, I'm probably going to get heat for it, but you know, I voted for him the last time, but he is our governor, uh, and he's made a rule. I believe that it's a mistake. I think that, especially right now, even though that you know, we've got spring break coming up, so all these people, we're all going to have a break. You know, the, what started it for us in Valverde County, if y'all will remember, uh, <clears throat> you know, I had a phone call from you, I mm -hmm. a phone call from other commissioners, and you know, what are we going to do with these 80 some odd people that, that are out of the country? And that's what started it for us. It was spring break. Uh, and I was in the first, uh, I guess the first seven that, uh, the first seven that, that popped up positive in our county were related or, or were part of a group that had gone on spring break and out of the country. So, you know, that's what started us started it for us the last time. And, and <clears throat> as much as I hate to say it, I really do believe, though, that, you know, sometime at the end of April, uh, our hospitalization rate will be over 15%. God, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, but, you know, one of the simplest things that we can do to protect ourselves from this, uh, we can't all run out and go get vaccines because there's not enough, but one of the simplest things we can do is really wear a mask. So, you know, it, it's... It's going to affect us. I think what he did is going to hurt us, but again, he's our governor. He made the decision, and, and we're going to run with it. And we're going to try to, you know, tell people. I will tell you that that some of the chains, uh, some of the whether it be restaurants or, or food chains or whatever, you know, we've already had phone calls. Can we mandate something? I know you can't, but can you do something? Well, we can't do anything. Our hands are tied. You know, and it's funny because when we had all the restrictions at the beginning in March and April and May, everybody was complaining there were restrictions. And then when it loosened up a little bit, then they were complaining that it was too loose. And right now, we're already getting the, the emails and the text messages that, uh, you know, I know you can't do something, but can you send letters or something in order to be able to, because it's hard. It's hard for a business to require somebody to come in just because they're going to get, they're going to get a lot of heat. And it's a battle that, that, Probably 99% of the businesses are not going to want to fight with their customers as they're coming in to mandate a mask, even though they have the, the right. Uh, but I can tell you the, the companies that called yesterday, uh, they're not going to do it. Uh, you know, they, they just, they, they don't want that battle with their customers. They don't want that fight at the door. And uh, even though they think that the mask is a good thing, uh, they're just not going to have that fight. And I, I answer. Thank you. <clears throat> Anything else? <clears throat> we got in our, yesterday was our first dose of, uh, of Pfizer that we received in, which had to be in that negative 80 degrees. Oh, yeah, uh, that's super zero or whatever. <laughs> uh, so we were sort of uh, scared that, is it working? Is it working? But it was, uh, freezer was working. Everything's good. Data recorder's working. Uh, but it's amazing you have something that goes in negative 80 degrees Celsius, you know. But uh, it's, it's just it's just money. Uh, right, about 14, 13. <laughs> so either way. Is there any other discussion on COVID? None. Uh, we made the motion, got it passed. <coughs> discussion on, on immigrants. <coughs> They're working on a uh, contract or an MOU. Uh, I'd asked for the county not to be uh, not to be part of that. I don't know how that's going to work out. Sean and, and uh, we had Father Hyman here the other day, and uh, they're like they're trying to work it out. Uh, they might need some help on the legal side trying to figure it out. But uh, I, I asked that we not be a part of it. Uh, you know, I, I think at the part that at the 
time that the county is going to be involved in this, it's, going to be enough. it's not going to be to house them and feed them. <clears throat> and that's just my opinion. Uh, we'll end up playing another part. They did ask, uh, City of Del Rio is trying to get two, get two poles, meter loops hooked up that have been there, but they were disconnected. They might need a little bit of diesel and maybe a tank of propane between now and then uh, just to get everything going. So if the court would be all right, maybe we supply diesel for the generators until the until the until the city gets the power pole to the Can I have a motion on it? I'll make a motion to allow the county to provide diesel and propane. Yes, sir. Until the city gets the utilities hooked up. Second. Uh, the motion, Commissioner Nelson. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye five zero vote. <coughs> this one here. Item 17, discussion, possible action on moving our rate. <coughs> I, am, I am missing, I'm not trying to keep the officers, but I'm missing a lot of Metal Rail Grant meetings because they're on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether we could, would it be okay? Well, motion to move to Tuesday. Second. Yeah, your, your office called me and asked what would be uh, better, Tuesday or Thursday. I chose Thursday. And then it's on Tuesday. Tuesday. So no, I guess I should have shows Thursday. 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 No, I think Tuesday would be better. I mean, it's the beginning of the week pretty much, and Thursday's. That's, that's I mean, great. I don't know. To me, Tuesday yeah. would be better okay. than. Do you have time to do payroll? That, that's the Eastern Commission, but that is a great idea. Now, if you want to do Tuesday, there's still a possibility. Senate Bill 354, last legislation came through. They could reduce the population brackets to allow, would include our population to allow payroll to go out. And, uh, uh, of course, a few expenditures. I'm sorry, expenses, not expenditures. So we can do that now. That would just be authorized by law. <laughs> we can just cut that. Man, if you want to use tensors, you want to. Correct. We, we talked about this before. I didn't want you to use your power to lose your power. But we can do Thursday and just keep it as it is. Or we can uh, enact this, bring it in front of court, and you guys can sign something so that it's law. That payroll can go out. So if we did it on Thursday, then we'd be covered. Correct. If Tuesday you know, won't work then. It, it will if you want to. Yeah, I'd like to make that motion, please. Second. Oh, wait, I got to look. Oh, you got one on the table. Okay, I'll write your table. Slow down. I'll look for my motion. Okay. Okay, so if we do Tuesdays today, every mm -hmm. other Tuesday, instead mm -hmm. of every other Wednesday, mm -hmm. then we'll need to come back with something right. uh, at the next Tuesday's meeting to uh, allow next you to say that. Yeah. All right. At next Tuesday's meeting? Well, sure, Tuesday, yeah, we could, if you want to do it that way, we could do it that way, just have it signed on Tuesday. Yeah. Will that work? If you want to do it that way, going forward. Mm -hmm. I mean, you tell me what's going to work for you, because you're the one that's... Uh, right. that's if you want to keep it as it is, Thursday would be best. If you want to uh, enact that, that law to come through court, since population brackets have been reduced, we can do Tuesday. Okay. So today we can change the meeting to Tuesday. Okay. Uh, every other Tuesday, starting two weeks from today, right? And then you can get us the wording in order to help you on the house cup or whatever. Sounds good. Does that works. Absolutely. All right. I have a, do I need, I need a motion to move it to Tuesdays? Motion. Second. Second. Motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero vote. Thank you. Approval of a resolution for regional mobility. We got this on the last agenda. I guess my question on this one is, this, uh, there, there's actually a house bill to create this, uh, <coughs> Real Grand Regional Mobility Authority. Um, in that house bill, it allows for an increase in vehicle registration to go fund it. Some of my concerns when you, when you look at the Regional Mobility Authority is, is that we kind of take the responsibility away from TxDOT and I don't know how much responsibility we're going to take and how much is going to be dumped on us. So I think there's some good parts to it, but I have some concerns. <coughs> um, basically, no projects can be done without the Regional Mobility Authority doing things. So I don't know what that effect is on, on other types of projects. And, and so I'm kind of torn between whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. And I asked the question, how bad, I mean, with like all our other monies that we receive from TxDOT, how's this going to affect us? You know, what, what's it going to do to us? And I was told it wouldn't do nothing to us. Uh, bottom line is we will need to collect another fee, and that'll go into the kitty. But like I said, but that goes into the kitty for the entire. If this bill passes, which is includes all of the the, the counties in the regional mobility within the cob, 
then those projects are done under the COB and not necessarily under the individual counties. I, I'm not so sure how that's going to work. Just now join the conference. Okay. Just Emily. We already did yours, Emily. Okay, well, that's good. It's been all Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're, 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 we're still moving. Well, when, I'll talk to you all later. Well, wait a minute. When, okay. she, when he said that we did it, we denied it. <laughs> <laughs> she just yeah, claimed. She, no. <laughs> she said in Houston. It was hot show. Yeah. Well, don't run over nothing. That's all good. So I... Uh, Okay, have a good day. You're on speaker. Bye. Um, Thank you, Matt. Have you, have you had any conversations with Eddie or anybody about this legislation you're working on? They're all, on this one here, they're pushing it. Real quick. And the conversation was, what's he going to do to us if the money goes into a centralized look, basically like what you just said, if it goes into them, then who gets to pick what the heck? What, I'm sorry. Who gets to pick what happens with the funds? Right now, we're sort of, you know, if, if we kill it, we eat it type deal. You know. Um, so are we trying to? to are, are, are we trying to approve a resolution to create, it, or to support the legislation that they have filed, or, or what is it? That we're we're going to create. Yes, in order to the most, This one here is to create our own. Independent of the call. That's what I was told. So if we don't approve this, Judge, what? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I mean, I would really thing. prefer we sit down or you sit down with TechDot and have a lot more of I mean, I, when this concept came out years ago, I read a lot on regional mobility authorities, and I didn't support them. <coughs> it limited your ability to do stuff. Um, and you were more responsible than had you just had a TechDot project. But, you know, I don't know. Okay. Can we table it and approve it at a later date? Um, no, and, and look into it a little bit more. What we can do is table it right now, and then uh, I have an idea of the concerns that the court has. I will specifically ask him the questions. Motion to table. Second. Second. Uh, motion, Commissioner Flores. Second, Commissioner Wardlaw. All those in favor? Aye. Five zero vote. And here in a minute, he watches our deal. If we can find this, we'll text back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, item 19, discussion possible on dates for joint city and county meeting. I didn't know what dates are would be available. It needs to be in the afternoon. Uh, you want to talk about this month or? I would say uh, the better, better part of this month, yes. I, the, uh, the uh, bill that we filed for regulatory of wind farms uh -huh. going to committee. I don't know when that will be set for hearing yet, so I don't really know. It's going to be one of those that will come up pretty quick, so I don't know if I'll be here or won't be here or what we're going to be doing. I mean, guess whatever day works, and we'll figure it out from there. Well, they will meet after, after they, it goes to hearing. Yeah, usually those hearings are going to be late in the evening, so I mean, you're going to whoever's going to testify is going to have to be there. I'd ask for some dates from them if you want. i put it back on in two weeks. And get five or six dates from that. That work? That's yeah. work. That'll work. Uh, a motion to table. Motion to table. Second. And motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Flotis. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, discussion possible action on the water district bill sponsored by Representative Eddie Bethel, Eddie Morales. We have a, we posted a notice. He's coming in on Friday. Well, he's going to come in. The meeting's on Friday at 5.30 at the Civic Center. Um, we have posted a notice that there will be commissioners there, but uh, on my is no action taken. Uh, do, who will be attending? That way I'll make sure that you're on seats. Planning on attending unless something changes. I'll attend. You're going to attend? I'll attend. I'll be there, Judge. Commissioner Flutter? I'll be there, too. Okay. So we'll have a whole court. Uh, Y'all have already got copies of this bill? I know that we sent them out. There is questions to it. Uh, some of it looks like uh, it's stuff that we've had over and over and over in the bill. And then some of it's a lot of stuff that we've talked about over the last nine, ten years uh, is not in it. 
But I think it's a working point. Uh, I think there's things that we need to work on, and I mean, we'll see Friday what uh, Eddie has to say, and then we've got to go from there. Y'all okay with that? See? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, no action to be taken. Discussion of possible action on $3.9 million tax note. On this one here, there was a, uh, I think you sent a text on the parameters or whatever of, of use, the sure. purpose. Mm -hmm. The only thing we want to change on it. They sent back uh, uh, vehicles for law enforcement, which wasn't that what we were doing was communication equipment for law enforcement. So they're going to change that. Mm -hmm. And I guess everything else was a go. Well, what you have on there is road and bridge equipment. And then equipment uh, for, for the radios for the sheriff's numbers. And that's what that's that would be a that would be a cover because uh, it was seven hundred and thirty thousand dollars for those. Seven hundred thousand dollars for pavement equipment. Mm -hmm. So that that is part of road and bridge equipment. It and is. there was another two million dollars, five hundred thousand dollars per precinct, and um, which is also equipment for for a whole road and bridge. Right. No <laughs> special project yeah. copies yeah. anything. Yeah. Okay. Do, we yeah. understand that. Yeah. All right. Okay. We've had that conversation, and, and it has to be just equipment. Are right. we doing something about election? Election equipment, what we had talked about, they were going to bring back a deal for 400 and some odd thousand dollars, and we could probably set, bring in or, or set aside some of the funds that, that we already have. Oh. We could go ahead and pay for that with some other accounts, and then there's usually a savings at the end of the year that we could not yeah. have to roll this into the note. Okay. I'm okay with that. Right. So we will move forward. With the tax note. Joy, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, question: uh, We're not working on that one million dollars. We've, we've got a, we've got a. There's, there's two different notes. One of them was a tax note for 3.9, and then the other one was a certificate of obligation. So the conversation that we had last week on adding funds to build a central location would be added to the certificate of obligation. Commissioner Flores, and that's okay. the next slide. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do we need any no, okay. no, we just might want to try to get with them. We know that closed on the first. We want to try to get with them and see if we can just better word that or at least add the and in mm -hmm. there or something on the purpose. Yeah. And that we that we were sent to, you sent it to us yesterday, right? You, mm -hmm. So that no, was, well, that, that was sent out last week. They were asking for but you don't uh, need us to vote or take any action. No, we just need to clean up the language probably. Yeah, okay. Okay. that was it. All right, item 22 discussion possible action on certificate of obligation. Uh, on this one here, we'd set aside two million for. Uh, for Frontera, 1.3 million for Odyssey, and then la last week on Tuesday, on Monday, we talked about setting aside another million dollars for to build a facility in order to have food dropped off at a centralized uh, <coughs> food distribution. Uh, part of that conversation also was that uh, at that point, you know, if commissioners wanted to do it at their own facilities, that would be good, but at least we'd have everything brought into one centralized location. Uh, Bottom line is the the rates was pretty much the same. The payment did go up, but we were going from 15 years to 20 years. The conversation, I guess, right now would be: uh, Did we still want to add that for a centralized uh, food? I, I wouldn't say distribution, but for a centralized hub where the food would be dropped off. So that's what, actually, what's the what's the price you have on that? Well, we set aside a million dollars. Don't think it will take it. But we set aside a million dollars because we'd also talked of bringing in freezers uh, in order to uh, to be able to store all the all the commodities. Uh, so this that would be a building and supply of forklifts and anything else needed for the facility itself. One of the one of the things that we ran into right now uh, also was during the storm we had had a. Uh, we had had a, uh, like water and stuff like that. We're getting in water right now, not a lot, but it has a 10 year shelf life. Uh, so this would be a place also to store it and, and do that. Uh, yeah, but it's up to y'all. I mean, I, I think it would be great to have it. Uh, as far as staffing, I think you brought up the point about staffing. Uh, you know, the facility, I mean, you'd hire a truck driver and then somebody else to be there full time. Uh, but that would take away from all the precincts running and going and getting uh, product. 
you'd have a truck driver that that's all he would go do is go hit it. I think it's a great yeah, idea. Uh, Judge, where do you stand with this? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I think it's not. <coughs> I won't tell you that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Commissioner Vasquez. Uh, in 2020, one and a half million pounds of food. And then in 2020, no, I'm sorry, in 2019, one, we're in 2021. In 2019, one and a half million pounds of food were brought in. In 2020, we had uh, right at six million pounds of food brought in. So the way that this has already started, you know, I think we'll be over the six million pounds of food. So, you know, I, I, I think it's needed. I think that if we do this, I think it'll take a little bit off of the strain off of the precincts. But again, it's just my opinion. Uh, but we do need to make a decision on whether or not we want to add it or just go back to the three points. What do you see for the future of this uh, food distribution? What do you think? The well, if it continues the way we're going right now, um, if the commissioners did not want to have it in their <coughs> then you then you'd have the capability of telling everybody to go to this one place. Okay. It does, and y'all know it right now better than I do, but the food distribution creates a strain on y'all. No, it means. Right. So uh, I will tell you that, that what, what, I would, what I would see for the future is you build a facility, you, you have one place where everything comes in. If you need it, you go get it. If you don't want to have it uh, at your precinct, but you want it for your precinct, then you tell people to show up at the facility, but it's up to the commissioners where they want to have it. And there's going to be times that you're not going to be able to have it uh, at your precincts. So you have a place to go do it. Um, but, I mean, again, it's, it's up to you all. I will tell you that uh, I, mean, I know you all are getting phone calls. Uh, it's a lot of work what you all are doing. <coughs> And I think it would relieve some of the pressure on y'all yep. to, to, to do it in your precincts. But if you want to, you have that capability. The only thing is, you know, I think, you know, we have a, we have a commissioner that sits on their board right now, and, and you know, uh, there's a capability just like everybody else that's in that's in this South Texas Food Bank region. You know, there's there's they're handing out or they're trying to make sure that people have enough food or, or especially right now during the pandemic. So mm -hmm. to me, if we had a facility uh, that was actually set up for this, then, you know, we ain't looking for places to cover with some of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I also believe that, that we could look at doing something more regional. I know we brought in, I sent my guys to the base to pick up some water that was flown in that was actually going to Rock Springs and different locations, but there's needs, not just Alberta County, but surrounding areas around that. And if we had more of a centralized deal where we could not only deal with the issues we have here, but in an emergency situation, to be able to assist these surrounding counties that probably don't have as many resources as, as, as we may have to be able to get stuff where it needs to go. This would give us that opportunity. and. Maybe at some point expand this thing into something more like a sub office of the Moreno food bank system or something like that. I, mean, I, I think there's a need for it. I think mean, you know, centralize it so that we all know what's going on. But that's just my personal opinion. And we keep saying personal opinion, and it's only one opinion because we don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> but, so, but you know, it's it's one of those deals. We I will get a motion to leave the one million in there. To, to build this facility along with the money for Frontera and for uh, Odyssey. I have a motion, Commissioner Flores. I'll second that motion. Second, Commissioner Flores. Discussion. I have a second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Discussion. Right. Pleasure. Uh, sir? Discussion. Okay. Yes, sir. Is there, did, have you uh, looked at any or thought about emergency power source for your county facilities? You know, that. that I will tell you that if this place is set up, uh, we'll, uh, depend on where it's at, <laughs> we'll drill a well and we will have, uh, we will have generators for this. The, the good thing about what we had as far as generators, uh, you know, we're probably going to, well, 
think we were covered. And I ain't saying that because but we were. We were covered as far as our, our, our county crews. We were not able to, to open here uh, or open this, this block if we didn't have power. Uh, you know, Commissioner Wardle, we've had this conversation. Uh, you know, there used to be a generator here just for this block. Yeah. Uh, you know, we can look into that. Aren't we uh, getting a bunch of extras from the sheriff? We're replacing all of them. We're getting power seven. Here. We're getting seven. Uh, they're anywhere from 75 amp to 125 amp, uh, to 75 to 125 amp double pole uh, generators. So we could revamp those and then use them for different locations as alternate. Power. I can tell you that if we'd have had one of the 125 amp generators already, luckily we did not run out of fuel. Uh, you know, we were handing it out to just city, fire, police, uh, people that were doing the transportation for dialysis going to the pass, uh, EMS, uh, ambulance at the, at the hospital. Luckily, we didn't run out of gas or diesel, but we used everybody's gas or diesel. But uh, one of the conversations that we'll have tomorrow <coughs> is that we were offered, uh, they had like 4,000 gallons of diesel at the school. I guess short answer is if we'd had that generator, I need a 125 amp generator, I could have hooked up the, the pumps at the school district. Uh, luckily we didn't need them, but I didn't have nothing at that point to hook up. Everything that we had in the county, everything that the county owned and everything that we personally owned was not 125 amps or more. But these so I answer your question. We're going to, yeah, we could hook up on trailers, revamp mm -hmm. them, and have them available for those ducks. Yes, seven, seven, I think. There's seven. Seven mm -hmm. that we'll have available. Yeah. And, and they're going through the process right now of getting the new ones, and I think this... this uh, the radio powers? No, yeah, for the... Five. Five, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Five for the radio powers. And then those generators that are coming off of that, we can keep and then decide what we're going to do with them. Mm -hmm. We will need something in that 200 amp uh, just to buy, and we will need something in that uh, 480 volt, maybe 600 amp, or, or 600 K, 6,000 KW amp. To, to, to buy uh, because that one uh, just to give you an example uh, and I don't know whether they, they would they would let us use it but we ran down there's a pump there on uh, on Chapman down at 60 acres uh, mm -hmm. next to it you know sheriff said we can use it so we run down there and, and it's three phase so we didn't have nothing that we could hook up to it so there's different spots that we know that we'll need a generator and yes but if the city gets generators and what they need to keep the plant functioning all the time, those needs shouldn't be there as much. Well, and I'll tell you that I guess the last meeting they came up, I think there's 19 uh, generators, if I'm not mistaken, and they can correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it was 19 generators, what were going to be needed to do the water, wastewater, the lift stations, and, and just everything else. Uh, they, they did. John and Dan and, and Greg and Roger, they already made a list of everything that they're going to need in case this happens again. So uh, whether it be the heaters for the for the water treatment plant or whatever, all that's already been done. But on our side, yes, the answer is yes. We need to come up with some backup power. So how much? That would be part of it. That would be part okay. of it. Okay, good. Okay. Any other anything else? No, sir. Okay. All in favor? All right. All, right. all against? It passes 5-0, 23 approval resolution. Uh, we, we did last, last week, well, let's see, approval resolution opposition to water bill followed by Senator Gordon Gutierrez. We actually did, we wanted to sign a resolution. The resolution's done. If we want to sign it, uh, it's here. So if you want to approve the resolution. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion, Commissioner Middleton, Senator Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? 5-0 mm -hmm. vote. Mm -hmm. Item 20. 24 approval. This meeting is wrong. <laughs> approval of draw number 20 under SHC contract 7217013 in the amount of $4,991.16 and authorized county judge in order to sign draw number 20 and the public service draw check. Motion to approve draw number 20. Second. Got a motion, Commissioner Flores. Second, Commissioner Nelson. All those in favor? Aye. 5 0 vote. Item 25. Possible action discussed on how to pay for precinct crews and fairgrounds, emergency management plus community center coordinator. Motion to approve uh, that they get paid emergency pay and that the four ones get paid <coughs> regular pay before the extra hours. Motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second. Okay. 
Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. 5-0 vote. I just get a regular hourly rate record. for the extra hours they work. So if sure. They get a 50-hour week, 10 of those hours would be at the regular pay on top of the regular board. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. No, that doesn't make sense. sense. What do you mean? Uh, just the start dates. Uh, the start date program. would be uh, Friday afternoon after, after regular hours. Okay. And then it's going to go through Sunday evening of the following week. Okay. Whatever that is. That work? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Are you motion? Yeah, motion. It's, uh, it's, uh, that it? That's it. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Item 26. Approval to purchase new election, new election equipment from Barbara County Clerk's Office for election system, from election system and software LLC in the amount of $449,563 through by board contract number 622-20 to be paid from funds determined by Commissioner's Court and Authorized County Judge to sign purchase. Uh, yes. Ms. Trummel 1. Hello? <laughs> she disappeared. <laughs> I guess my concern with this one would be is because we talked about different item, item Yeah, I think it sure includes everything that we need to include. Mm -hmm. So I spoke to her last week, and, and this should this should this was the final amount. This is everything we need. Yes, from my understanding, yes. Okay, Matt, we talked about uh, bringing in some funds and then using some insurance money and stuff like that to pay this. Yeah, we don't have that. No, no, there's 175. Roughly, yes. And then uh, we do have some funds, some other insurance funds. So can we go ahead and, and pay it out of contingency right now, or set it up an account out of contingency, and then come back to the court in order to pay it out of? Uh, we bring them items in order to put the money back in the contingency. Yeah, How do you want to do this? Yeah, we can do that. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Don't we? No. Yeah, we'll have to find a spot. Mm -hmm. Motion to approve the purchase of the election equipment. I wish Janie was there because I want to hear from her. <laughs> if you want this paper, I'll have time to get a hold of her and when she comes back, we'll talk about it. Okay. That works? Yeah. 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 And most in favor. Second. Commissioner Nettleton, second. Commissioner Flores, all those in favor? Yeah. 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 I do a vote. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, there you I are. have an emergency in my office. Are you okay? Uh, where, where are we in the meeting? I'm sorry. Well, do you, Janie, do you want to take care of it and come back later? Yes, sir. I, 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 I yeah, please. Okay. All right. We tabled it and you just come back later. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Item 27, assigning a PICO card to Martin Soto and COVID response team. Motion to approve. Second. A motion, Commissioner Nelson. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Five zero vote. The award to reject bid for bid uh, twenty one dash zero one used refrigerated uh, trailer from Utility Trailer Sales, Essex, Texas. Inc. I'm going to make a motion to deny this bid due to the price, Judge. Okay. I was very specific with Mr. Guillermo that I did not want to pay more than twenty five thousand dollars for a reefer, a used reefer. Uh, and I'm going to make it public again for him to go out and rebid it. Okay. And the price not to exceed $25,000. Okay. And I'll send you those specifications so like I did last time. As reefer's you a reefer. A used reefer not to exceed $25,000. Yes, sir. Okay. So they're good. And you'll, and you'll approve those specifications again, right? Yes, sir. Okay. This is the first time. I have a motion. Commissioner Flores. Second. This is Commissioner Lillard. Right? To deny. To deny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A motion, Commissioner Flores. Second, Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Five zero vote. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Item twenty nine, approving a lease agreement between Valverde County and Ed Beckley for no limits monster trucks. Uh, before we get into this, Ed, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Oh, he's on that one now. <laughs> uh, we have this one is we've got to be before not that it matters but i'm just trying to get my date straight but this one will be before the the george paul right 
right. And we had a lot of damage at the fairgrounds, so the possibility of y'all just jumping through hoops backwards and everything and trying to get this done, it's going to be difficult, right? Yes, sir. How about we move it after George Paul? Move on the Can they move it after George Paul? Well, is that again on play? Could they move it after the George Paul? And, and, and it's not so much you know, because of George Paul, it's just that our, our next event is George Paul, and there was a lot of damage during the storm. And it, it just, I mean, it's just going to be rough on y'all trying to get everything fixed with everything else that's going on. So, that was it. Commissioner Nettleton's question was, is, I mean, can they do it afterwards? Uh, yeah, we can possibly uh, bring it back, talk to the uh, Red Bedley and see what his day card uh, would be available. We also have another event similar to that one uh, that uh, wants to come in. We got to look at their date. Uh, no, uh, if, if, if the court was to take action right now and say that between now, that we wouldn't add anything between now and George Paul just to give you all time to fix that, then that would probably solve your problem with people coming in and asking for those dates, right? Yeah. All right, I'll make a motion that all events between now and George Paul be moved in order for us to get all repairs made. Second. Have a motion, Commissioner Nelson, second Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Thanks, Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, approval of Robert Garza Jr. as a reserve deputy constable for precinct one. Mr. Garza holds the current TCLO certification as peace officer. Motion to approve. Second. And motion Commissioner Nettleton, second Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Five zero 5 0 vote. Item 31, requesting authorization to apply for and accept the Stone Guard in 2021. Number 3155307 grant and to approve the resolution. Motion. Motion to uh, authorize an exception. Motion, Commissioner Flores. Second. So what all is this including? Just overtime? Are you all getting equipment out of this? Is there, there? Is there isn't equipment in it. There's one vehicle right now. Another one of those. You yes, asked for $300,000. You end up getting $100,000. You have to readjust everything that you asked for. So how much are you getting on this? We asked for us. I think it's going to be like $300,000. That $300,000 is also split with the other counties that are part of it. Uh, Edwards County, Cedar County, Cedar County, and Cedar County. So it's going to be split with the other counties. And doing these has no effect on our regular operations as far as patrols and all that. No. I have a motion, Commissioner. Lotus, second Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Five zero vote. Item thirty two. Authorize Sarah Joe Frank Martinez to sign USM dash six zero seven A for fiscal year twenty twenty. Uh, what is this? What is this one? This is the fugitive task force for the US Marshal we have our warrant officer is assigned to this system. Uh, motion to approve. Second. A motion, Commissioner Nettleton, second Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Yeah. Five zero vote. Item 33, authorizing Sheriff Joe Frank Martinez to sign the Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Force Fiscal Year 2021 Agreement. What is this one? That one is for Daniel Fuentes, who is assigned to the DEA Task Force. There's an old death case. That he's been working on, and this is for who's the best to pay part of his own time. Motion to approve. Second. Have a motion, Commissioner Nelson. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Uh -huh. 5 0 vote. Item 34. Approval of modification number 12 from the United States Marshal Service and authorized county judge to sign. What are we modifying? We changed in the started out on the original with $10,000. In February, they have taken. Four hundred and thirty-two dollars and sixty-four cents out of it, and change the amount to nine thousand five hundred and sixty-seven dollars and thirty-six cents. For what? That's only time that he is authorized. Oh, through the uh, this isn't part of the the, the GO, the jail, or any of that. No. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. No. Uh, that's uh, we're we're changing the per diem. That's what we're doing. Yeah, this one, this item here, we're actually changing the per diem on the marshal service, which this is like an ongoing deal. 
Well, they went back up to $26.63. It's in your package. Yes. Uh, 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 this will not affect any of our... It will not affect one of our... What we're doing. Doing. No. Motion to approve. Second. Motion, Commissioner Nero. Ten seconds, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Five zero vote. And this one here, 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 this one Item 35, discussion approval, authorized elected officials set salary, new hires from base pay to current salary for the for the vacant position. I was just aggravating because what y'all did last week. <laughs> so do y'all want to to uh, to have one of these and have the the policy board look at something to bring back to y'all as far as a, a, a step or something between there to give the elected officials more of a range versus then just base case. That would be fine. That work? I have a motion? Motion. Yeah. And a motion, Commissioner Nettleton, second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. What, what is that motion then? <coughs> the, have, have the policy committee look at uh, setting a range other than just base pay for, uh, for, for positions? I uh, hope yes. Okay. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 5-0 vote. Item 36, approving human resource report from February 18th, 2021 through March 2nd, 2021. Move. Second. A motion, Commissioner Flores. Second, Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Uh, Five zero vote. Uh, closed session consultation to inspect the government code. A, 551.071, parenthesis 2, attorney client privilege. B, 551.071, parenthesis 1, parenthesis state contemplated litigation. Uh, we'll take a little five minute break and then we'll go into executive session. All right? It's mad when I play with this machine. Leave it alone. You can hear everything. You gotta fix it to where you get a shot. <laughs> well, you got mad the last time. You said you turned it off. Okay. <laughs> Court is now back in session. It's 10 22. Correction is taken. We're going to go back to item 26. We talked about funds already, but uh, we had questions about to make sure that this is all we needed. This is, is everything that you're going to need to do the election. We're, we're not going to need to come back for anything extra. This includes the mail-in ballot issue. Yes. This includes all of the stuff you need for all the polling places, the ADA, the, the handicap deals, every single thing. Yes. And you believe this system will work the way you want it to work. It'll be, it will fix our problem. It'll do what <laughs> it's supposed to do. Okay. It will we'll fix just... our problem. I'm going to go ahead and make every problem? Real quick. Okay. Not every problem. I'm talking about the issues like <laughs> where everything's hanging up and all those kind of issues yes, where it's right. taking forever to get these mail-in ballots done and all this yes, stuff. Yes, sir. It'll drastically improve and fix your uh, mail-in ballot processing. And you're taking your head up and down. I want to make a little bit of fun. And it's not personal, but we're fixing to spend uh, $450,000. So I got a little bit of a rub. You keep shaking your head up and down. You are part of this, right? I mean, <laughs> after you came in, uh, part of the thing that he's talking about, I guess, is, uh, and I think you tried to explain it the last time, was that the way they're it's, they're creased and they're, they're folded, yes. but you explained that, that this one here has so many rollers that will pick it up and it won't be a problem. With the new scanner, we improved that technology where it's, it's actually pulling the ballot or uh, pull, putting tension on each side of it so that it doesn't crank a lot as it's going through the machines. Okay. So if it doesn't work, <laughs> we know it's gone. <laughs> I don't know if y'all meant... Uh, I saw another one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jay takes care of our training. And everything, and I know some of you have questions on the training and what we were going to be doing. Jay's our implementation manager, so he actually comes in and is part of the installation okay. training. And, and we had talked about trying to get that, you know, sort of done uh, way ahead of time. Now, if we had issues, we could get that fixed. Yes, and, and the plan is to get the equipment in here, have it all set up. Probably my staff will be trained first, and then we talk about a schedule. We're already working on a schedule of when. We would want to go because we have to <coughs> request permission to be in like some of the areas before we do. Yeah, so we can, so the public can get used right. to what we're doing. Now we are also in the process. This is where Jay comes in. He's already has some links that he has sent me for some of the videos and stuff that they have online. 
So we'll be putting that on our website, and people can actually go on there and try it first before they even come in and look at it. Um, while we were talking after the last meeting, I also came up uh, with another idea that the SNS is going to be looking at for to make even our mail process that goes out to the ballots by mail, the so ones we have to send out, may even increase it faster than what we are planning on. I'm thinking, is this going to work or not? For now, I, know, I realize that we've been waiting a long time, and I really appreciate everybody's support on this issue. Um, but uh, it's it's what we need, and it is uh, what we would like to have. It's not another system, and but. Based on what we're hearing, you know, the people that went electronic are not going to have to switch back. And we never switch as far as paper. Right. And we, I strongly believe that the paper is needed. And it should always be part of any system. I agree. You need something you can go back to. And if everything else collapses, you can go back and if come up with something that works. The times of the 60s and the 70s where you kind of... Just don't go to the Chad one, you know. <laughs> no, not that one. All right. We don't have... I'll one. make a motion to approve the purchase. I think we already made a motion. Did we? Yeah, we took care of it. We would just have questions. <laughs> so who made the motion? I'm sure I did. Well, well, I, I had to drop it. everything. I, did, I don't even remember what my friends We made a motion, Matt, correct me if I'm wrong. We made a motion to go ahead and do it. And then, uh, set us, well, we made a motion to set aside funds out of contingency. And then bring it back to to uh, figure out where we get other appropriations to put back in. That was the motion. And that's correct. And, and there may be a tie up there. We still currently do have three hundred thousand reserve for COVID. Okay. So we may have to draw from that a little bit. Okay. To facilitate this. All right. And we will continue to keep our eye out for the uh, right. possibility. Chris, it's already going to be on it. I have already alerted him to that. So you'll be keeping an eye on that. Okay, good. We good? <coughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you all. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Commissioner's comments? None. County judges' comments? None. Uh, we're adjourned. Thank you all. <laughs>